Starting January 1st, a new federal law will bring big changes to small businesses, corporations, or other domestic and foreign entities that file documents with the Secretary of State. The Corporate Transparency Act passed in 2021 to combat illicit activity hiding behind LLCs, including tax fraud and money laundering. The purpose of it is to uh, find out who is doing business in the United States. It's the people who are receiving benefit from the corporation will have to disclose who they are. The beneficial owners are someone who has substantial control over the company or controls at least 25 percent of the ownership interests. Congressman John Garamendi says the new law will prevent secrecy, like the billion-dollar land acquisition in Solano County that was kept quiet since 2018. The Corporate Transparency Act would provide some information, perhaps not the total detail that would be necessary, but at least knowledge as to who the beneficial owners are. In September, the I-Team sat down with California Forever CEO Jan Schrammick. We provided the whole investor list to the federal government a long time ago. And when you say a long time ago, when was that? At least six months ago. Six months ago? But these purchases started back in 2018. That was the first time anyone asked us. And to this day, even though we have some information, we still do not know where all the money comes from. Under this new law, certain companies will be required to report beneficial ownership information, or BOI, to FinCEN, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Garamendi says there are 23 exceptions to the law, including domestic government authorities and banks. But it's still unclear if any of them will apply to California forever. It will force at least in the case of California Forever, Flannery and Associates, to come forward with additional information about the various LLCs that provided the money for California Forever or for Flannery Associates. For the I-Team, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.